Hey guys, how's it going? Sterlis there here. Uh, happy holidays and uh, you know, happy New Year's. It's been a while since I talked to you guys. I think like two weeks, but I'm glad I was able to wish you guys a Merry Christmas before I took off for my own leave. Um, but I'm back and I've been playing Minecraft. I missed it pretty bad while I was out on a vacation with the family. I left the computer and stuff here, so I was ready to come back and get right back into it. Did a lot of mining just to kind of explore, do some things. Got quite a few enchanted pickaxes, all kinds of things, but I haven't really built anything or done anything different. Just kind of been trying to upkeep and build up the farm, things like that. So, what we're going to do today is pretty cool. We're going to create a mob farm, specifically with... Oh, that was anticlimactic. Okay, we're going to have to close that up. Specifically with a uh, farm that I found. So, yeah. All right. There we go. So, this is it. We're probably going to have to get back out of here. But anyways, this is a skeleton farmer, so, uh, or spawner. So I found it while I was just kind of mining around. And, um, yeah. So we're going to build a farm here. And, uh... Yeah, that's kind of all there is to it. So, I'm going to go ahead and get my inventory ready, because with all this netherrack, it is not ready. I have so much netherrack because I went to rescue the horse that we had left in the nether a few episodes ago. So, I was like, ah, I better do some shopkeeping and, and take care of him. So, I got him back, and we're going to go ahead and get this spawner going. So, I'll come back when I have a little bit done. Alright, so, I realize I haven't really been the best at uh, including you guys in the progress of the build. <clears throat> but, we've got... Excuse me, we've got most of the spawner made here. Um, I have to go and find kelp now because that's apparently part of the bubble stream situation stuff. So I got to figure that out. So I'm going to find kelp. And then it doesn't look like this is going to bring me to kelp, but I think kelp is out that way. I think we're going to have to take our horse, which I got back. Anyways, so yeah, I got kelp. Oh, I don't have a lead, do I? Shoot. Okay, so I need kelp. I need soul sand. And I think that's it, and I think we're going to be done, so I'll be back in just a second when I find kelp or something interesting. Yo, no way, check this out, check out, like there's a village right here, I mean like my base is right over there, you can see the other village, there's the barn in the background, and there's another village right here, that's insane. Wow, and it's like actually a pretty like decently sized village too. Honestly, it looks like there's a bunch of nitwits around. But, uh, I mean, yeah, I guess let's explore real quick. I mean, that's pretty sick. Oh, this guy's got a chimney. What? A blast furnace and blocks of iron? That's pretty sweet. Who works in here? All right, so I see another village off in the distance. I am going to say, though, there's, like, a really high chance we've already found this one since I think the ocean biome is out this way, and that's why I'm... You know, I've come out this way, but I only know that because I've explored it. So I'll let you know when we get closer. All right, so the Blast Furnace guy, he makes armor. So that's where that's from. So I don't think we've found this village before, actually. Which is pretty dope, but it's a really small village, it looks like. Okay, I don't know if this is kelp or not, so I'm going to go find out. The answer is unfortunately not. It is not kelp. Great. Yo, perfect. I think we got packed ice and uh, and uh, kelp. But you know what I didn't do, which would have been really, really smart, is to have brought my silk axe. Silk touch pickaxe. <laughs> so, yeah, that's where we're at right now. But uh, that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and collect this kelp real quick, and then uh, we'll get back on it. Get back, hopefully, to the base. Yeah. I'm such an idiot. I put myself in a boat and lassoed my horse. So that I could go. And it's a friggin' pond. Ugh. Alright, finally made it back to the treehouse. So now what we have to do is go back into the nether, which is good, because we gotta get back to Castle Siege. But while I'm in the nether, <clears throat> I also have to get soul sand. So that's gonna be a little risky, because I think I have to go into a nether, uh... What are they called? Nether castles? Nether castle for that? Um, or... No, I don't. I think it's just around. Okay, well, we're gonna find out when we get in the nether, obviously. So, yeah. Also, I think I've showed you guys this before, but here's the uh, here's the OG treehouse and the farm and everything like that. I might lose the horse. Oh my gosh, I thought I lost the horse. Whoo, he caught on fire. Oh, he's so low. Ah, gosh darn it. 
Okay, hold on. Please don't do anything stupid. Oh, come here. All right, so I've put everything valuable away, including uh, the horse, and then now we're going to try to get over to that nether castle. All right, like 10 out of 10, not going well. Uh, the two ghasts here guarding the freaking castle are wrecking my life. Shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Do I make this jump? Wow, that was like way too close, bro. Okay. I didn't know that there were chests in these guys. It's kind of cool. Alright, there's a blaze spawner. I definitely don't want to go over there. And this is what we want. I'm getting like a supply of it. Alright, well that was fairly successful, so... <clears throat> I got some diamonds. Oh, my horse is so almost dead. Alright, so we're in the spawner. We got the bubble stream, so that should shoot him right up. And then push him over. <clears throat> so let's see if I can fall down carefully here. Without hurting myself too bad. There we go. Alright, and then this is the spawner itself. So as you can see, I've decorated the inside. <laughs> But basically they spawn, and they get pushed out very, very slowly. Golly. Um, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description to the actual video where I saw this, like, made. Man, this is, like, really slow. Might be because I have those Depth Strider boots on, though. There we go. Now I started getting pushed faster. So then they get funneled into here, kind of fall down onto this stair, or this ladder, and then they get shot out. So... That is, wow, this thing is fast. So anyways, that's the spawner. Let me go ahead and knock all these lights out, and then it should be working. One of the bad things about finding the spawner in a mine shaft is that I have to make sure that all of the, the uh, open spaces around the spawner are well lit up so that nothing else is spawning. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. So now I'm just going to knock all of these torches out, and hopefully this thing starts working. This is kind of like my first mob spawn in probably like 8 or 9, something, I don't know, a long, long time. So, that makes it pretty difficult. Okay, get out of my way. That's not good. Alright, so I already made some renovations. Basically, they fall into a hopper now, and then everything, all the loot will funnel into this chest. And then I get the XP. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's working pretty good. Um... Basically, I just really needed an XP farm. It's kind of time in the series for that, so uh, we'll see. I'm going to try to work on it a little bit and see if we can get a little bit more efficient because it actually seems really slow right now, but maybe that's just because of we just got here, so I'll come back and see if it's working better. Oh my gosh, another one. All right, we're back. Uh, we're going to end this video with a, hopefully, getting a Fortune 3 pickaxe here um, out of our enchantment table. Uh. Our guy is back. He's got literally garbage to offer. Have I not given you good business in the past? Mm-hmm. Yeah, come back next time with something a little bit better. Anyway, so we're just going to keep hitting the diamond pickaxes here until we get something pretty good. Uh, it's going to be a while probably, so uh, stay, you know, stay around. You know what make this really easy? If, you know, I actually moved in to the mayor's mansion here, but, uh, the estate, but I haven't. Yeah, let's go! Sick! Alright, so moment of truth here, we're going to use our new Fortune 3 pickaxe, and we get one emerald. Did I hit it with the right one? I hit it with the right one! Alright, so these are eight diamonds. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Uh, I guess it's not a bad haul. 17? Okay. 17 from 8. Definitely worth the three pickaxes I just went through to get there, so that's kind of nice. Uh, we're going to put that back. That's efficiency 4. We're going to do that. We got another silk touch right here. We got another silk touch that I've been using. And then this guy, I need to repair him, but uh, I guess I really don't. I could just use the next one we got. And uh, where's that Fortune 3? The Fortune 3 needs to go there. Okay, pretty dope. So anyways, yeah, guys, now that we've got our Fortune 3 pickaxe, we can start mining some of that coal ore that I brought in. And I've just kind of got raw ore. 
Um, what else? We got the skeleton farm working. It's going pretty good. Obviously, at 42 XP when this video, st when this uh, clip started, so we're doing all right. And then um, I'd like to start trading more with the villagers, but honestly, that's all my coal right there, so I got plenty to go. And then let's just check on the farm real quick before we go, so that you guys can see how it's doing. I'm kind of doing my best to breed as I, you know, run past it and and get the uh, the animals moving. So as you can see, we've got quite. A good thing going here. We got a lot of chickens. We got a lot of sheep, and we got a lot of pigs. So I've stopped breeding the pigs. I mean, the uh, sheep. I'm still breeding the chicken and the pigs. The cows. It's been really difficult to get something going because I'll get like two at a time, and they make a little baby, and then like one of them disappears. So he probably gets somewhere out this way. This pig got out. Um, he's just gonna take one of the dome here. Wow, that's a pretty good shot. Anyways, uh, <laughs> Pete is going to be after me in like five seconds. Animal gets out of uh, the pen and gets slaughtered. Anyways, so yeah. Pretty cool episode. we got a spawner going. We've got a new pickaxe so we can start getting some diamonds. And with that, I'm going to start enchanting more. Hopefully get a full set of armor. And then we can start doing things like going to the end and actually trying to beat the game. Uh, this is kind of like... An episode, a series where I build a lot, but I also, I need to, like, beat the game to get some of the features, right? I'd like to have, um, what are those things called? Darn it. The beacons with the, uh, like, pyramid of diamond and, and iron and all that stuff to make you more efficient while you're building. So, like, that stuff would be pretty cool, but I have to go to the end first. Um... So, yeah, we're going to get working on that pretty soon. But hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, let me know what you want to see more in the comments. And remember, whoever can tell me in the comments what I asked earlier, I'll give you a shout-out. So, thanks, guys. See you in a bit. This has been Sterlis there. Thanks for watching.